everyone, we are now again on one of our lessons, area of a trapezoid. And what is a trapezoid? Here we see that a trapezoid is a four-sided flat shape with straight sides that has a pair of opposite parallel sides. There are so many trapezoids though. Uh, this is a regular one, so that's why we call it regular trapezoid. But I want to show you more um, shapes of a trapezoid that we could encounter in the problem. Alright, so here's a, here are some. This is the right trapezoid, uh, acute trapezoid, obtuse trapezoid, and isosceles trapezoid. So we normally see isosceles trapezoid because these are like equally uh, cut into each other. Like what we have here. Alright, this is um, we, we always usually call it regular trapezoid. This one is good to the right, this one is like like shape the same way. So let's see how we're gonna find the area of this. So we usually label it when we use a formula in finding the area. So we could label this one as base 2, base 1, and height. Those are the three numbers that you need to have in order for you to use a formula in finding the area of a trapezoid. So you could also say A and B and then the height. Okay? So with that, we have the formula of base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times the height. So we're going to add the bases. The bases are the, those two parallel sides. So base 1, base 2, and then we divide it by 2 and then multiply it to height. So like for example, in this picture, A plus B divided by 2 times whatever the height is. Alright, so let's look at some actual examples. Alright, here we go, we have an example. So if you look at this trapezoid, there are so many numbers, but all you need to have is the base 1, the base 2, and the height. These two over here, you don't really need. Those are the diagonal sides, you don't need. Those are the things that you need when you find the perimeter, but we're not doing that today. We're going to find the area of a trapezoid. So let's substitute the value for our formula. So base 1 plus base 2, so they're going to be 13 plus 11. You're going to ask me a question, can we switch those two? Definitely yes. You could always switch it. You could, you could definitely switch because sometimes the picture may look like this, right? So, yes, you can, you can switch. Divide by 2 times the height, which is 4. Using our order of operation, let's solve this. So we know that 13 plus 11 is 24. And you divide it by 2 by 4. Uh, you could also divide 24 divided by 2 times 4. Or you could just cancel that out and then put more by two. It's up to you, it's up to you which one you're gonna use, and it's always okay. So let's do it this way. It's really up to you if you want to divide first and multiply it. Divide first, divide the other ones first. So they're gonna be 12 times 4. And that will give us the area of And since the unit is inches, so always remember to put your units of measure because once you forget about unit measure, you usually take points off. So there we go. Let's have another example that doesn't look exactly like perfect uh, shaped trapezoid. Right, here's another trapezoid that we have. Uh, it is the back right one. So you could also put this as B1, B2, and that. But if you notice, this is like perfectly cut into each other, correct? So I could use, I could decompose this and make this as a triangle and cut it again here and could be the second triangle. So we could just have a, a triangle, a rectangular space, and a triangle. So we're going to be using decomposition. So I usually recommend uh, decomposition or to decompose the shape if we forget the formula. Let's say we don't know the formula, we're gonna always remember. So it's nice to decompose them into our um, the shapes that we usually know. So we have a triangle, a rectangle, and a triangle. Alright, let's do that. So I decompose it and we put them into a different uh, shape and separate them together. So if this is 10, Right? So definitely that's 10. And I know the height is 6. So I could put 6 here. I could put 6 here. And I could put 6 here. 
Now we want to know what's this meant over here. So since it's 14 and we know that it's a perfect kind of a drop, so you cut them equally. So it means that would be 2 and that would be 2. And this is 10, correct? So that makes it 14. So I'll put 2 here and I put 2 here and find the area of shape, triangle, rectangle, and a triangle. So, and we know that this is one half base times height, this is one half base width, and this is one half base times height. So let's solve for that. So here we go, uh, we find the area of a uh, triangle, which is 2 times 6 divided by 2. We find the area of this one, which is 6 times 10. And we find the area of the last one, which is um, 2 times 6 divided by 2, so we find the area. So let's solve for that one. So this is going to be 12 divided by 2, we can still give us a 6. And then 6 times 10, which is 16. And we know that those are the same. So is also a We add in a lot that gives us 72. Okay, so that's how using the composition. Right? Is there any difference when we do it using uh, the formula? Let's see. So now you have an option which one you could do. Let's do it in the regular using formula. Right, so in this case, we're going to be using formula to solve this problem. So let's substitute the value. So we're going to have 14 plus 10. And then we divide it by 2. And we multiply it to the height of 6. Let's solve it. So that's going to be 24 divided by 2. So 24 divided by 2 is 12, then 6 is to get, give us 7 to square root so It's the same way of the first thing, right? So it's also 72 and 6 is So no matter what way you want to do it, you will still get the same answer. Alright, you have an option which one. Alright, so let's try this one. So we have um, base 1 and base 2, and we have 4 and 5. You already know that this we do not need and this is not the same as a regular drop side we have we only have one side that if you cut it here it's only one so just to play safe if your figure is not equally uh, it's not a perfect trapezoid as i used to say it's perfect this is like it has the same amount or size so we always use the formula to play safe in, in this one don't worry, the formula will always be given in front of the test or it will always be given to you. Um, you will not need to memorize it. So let's solve for this one. Solve for it and let's see if you got it right. Okay, if you were able to solve it and you were able to get a correct answer of 80 square meters, then you are correct. Alright guys, so I want you to solve and practice more on our workbook and um, I'll go around and help you. I really want you to check um, how did you learn today, how you assess yourself, and how much you've learned from our lesson for the day. And until next time, have a good day everyone, and enjoy learning.